Reconciliation is a God-glorifying act because it makes known the character of God. It puts God's grace on display. When we put barriers up, when we build divides between, divides between us and others by our words, our pride, anger, education, envy, ethnicity, economics, who are we seeking to make known? Ourselves. And yet faith in Jesus leads us into love toward Jesus and love toward the Jesus family and love toward the Jesus family compels us, even commands us to forgive and serve one another. And the way that we're empowered to do that is by rehearsing the gospel. Rehearsing the, the shocking love of God that we are forgiven and that we've been brought into this family, fellowship of the saints, and when we do that, we're reminded, just as Milton Vincent said, of how much God has forgiven us, and then we are free and empowered to forgive other people, all our offenses. Bitterness can grow like a slow weed choking out the life. Bitterness, unforgiveness, squeezing out the joy. Many times it seems like you know, we know the truth as Christians, and yet we walk around soured like old grapes or turning into raisins because we are refusing to forgive, refusing to reconcile, refusing to take up our cross. And what's the phrase from Mark chapter 8? Deny yourself. Take up the cross, deny yourself. See, the cross of Jesus Christ is the foundation for forgiveness. Because on the cross, his blood shed for us, washed away our sins, broke down the barrier of the dividing wall so that we could have peace with God and peace with one another. The foundation for forgiveness is faith in Jesus Christ. The cross crushes the divide in your life. Would you close your eyes? Would you bow your heads with me? I want you to think about where you're at 